The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Here's a look at what we're tracking over the next couple of days. Cooler and drier air will be moving in, and some of us are already seeing that tonight. Hurricane Lee is moving basically due north at the moment, and then our next front, which will bring us our next rain chances, comes later this upcoming weekend. Now, right now, the sky cam is looking pretty nice out there. It's pretty calm. Temperatures around the block are in the upper 50s across the highlands in the NRB, and then about 70 degrees for Smith Mountain Lake, Lynchburg, and then across south side and the Roanoke Valley. Dew points are also on the decline as we're starting to see the impacts of that cold front or cool front as cooler air starts to move in and drier air starts to move in. Dew points of lower 50s in Covington and Hot Springs. Now tomorrow, this picture will look a lot different as a lot of our viewing area will have dew points in the upper 40s to lower 50s, and that will bring really, really comfortable air into our region. Now the radar is giving us a lot of backscatter right now. All of this green you see here is not rainfall. It's backscatter from the radar. However, out in Lynchburg, we are dealing with a little storm right now in parts of Appomattox and Campbell County right on the county line, bringing a heavy downpour for some of us overnight tonight. Thankfully, there's no lightning embedded in this. So if you enjoy the rain while you sleep, having a good time right now. Future tracker showing partly cloudy conditions overnight tonight. We could still see a few stray showers as we progress through the overnight hours. However, tomorrow we're waking up with partly cloudy skies turning to mostly clear and sunny skies by the mid afternoon. And then tomorrow evening looks pretty nice going into Friday. 24 hour zone by zone forecast overnight tonight. Temperatures get anywhere from the lower 50s to up to 60 in south side. And then tomorrow maybe a couple of degrees cooler as we progress throughout the next couple of days. Now our average high for this time of year is about 81 degrees. Take a look at the next seven days, basically right on par with our average, with the exception of Saturday being a little bit warmer warmer than our average for this time of year. But nonetheless, the next couple days should be pretty nice and pretty bang on average for this time of year in terms of temperatures. We are currently tracking Hurricane Lee. Impacts for New England are certainly expected in parts of eastern Canada, such as New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Rip currents are expected up and down the east coast of the United States and North America for the matter. Dry and breezy conditions for us here at home in West and Central Virginia. Now, the latest advisory came out about 30 minutes ago. The 11 p.m. advisory still has it as a Category 2 hurricane, expected to make landfall as a Category 1 hurricane or a tropical storm Saturday evening into Sunday morning along the coast of Maine. Now, with that, this front that we are currently dealing with is going to track Hurricane Lee out to the east and keep it to the east. It's also going to bring us drier air, so our humidity is going to drop off and nights are going to be very cool. And that same front that is keeping it away from us is going to push out to sea, whereas this next front behind it is going to bring us rain on Sunday. The first front will absorb Lee, the second one brings us rain. Now, we are counting down the days until fall. Fall starts September 23rd. We're only about 10 days, 9 days away if you're counting today's the next day. And then we are dealing with fall like conditions in the NRV. Temperatures get down to about 40 and then in the highlands 50s for your overnight lows. Same thing for south side. Look at that 51 on Friday and then Lynchburg. We are dealing with dry air and cooler temperatures as our daytime high gets to about 80 degrees for the next seven days. And the same thing for the Roanoke Valley. Rain chances return on Sunday and Monday. Then our three degree guarantee for the month of September is going to the habitat for your humanity. humanity. Yep. For the Roanoke Valley, we added 10 bucks to the total. We had the sun come out a little bit longer than we expected today. Clouds didn't really hold off. Yeah, well, later. you know, it, dep it was kind of like where you were standing. Right. You know, there were a on where lot you were. of clouds around, and yep. all it had to do was just open up for a little bit at the airport where, where we take the temperature, and that's what happens. That is exactly right, John. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Parker.